Welcome to the channel. Today, we delve into one of the most intriguing stories of modern aviation, a story that combines international collaboration, strategic necessity, and the relentless pursuit of aerial supremacy. The 2026 JF-17 Thunder is not just another multirole combat aircraft, it represents the evolution of ambition, the maturation of defense manufacturing, and the modernization of air forces seeking cost-effective yet formidable solutions in the fifth-generation era. Built as a joint effort between Pakistan and China, the JF-17 Thunder, also known as the FC-1 Shaolong, has undergone several phases of development. And now, in 2026, with the introduction of the JF-17 Block III and experimental prototypes referred to informally as the Thunder X variant or JF-17 Thunderx, we're witnessing the aircraft enter a new realm of capability. The JF-17 Thunder started its journey as a response to Pakistan's aging fleet of fighters, which included platforms like the Mirage 3, F-7, and A-5. With the West becoming increasingly selective in military sales, Pakistan needed a homegrown or allied solution. Enter China, through its aviation giant Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, offering a design partnership that would not only fulfill Pakistan's needs but also present an exportable solution to other nations with similar constraints. The JF-17 Block I and II laid the foundation with basic multirole capabilities, air-to-air, air-to-ground, and limited precision strike functionalities. But by 2026, with the Block 3 fully operational and Thunderix enhancements being tested, the platform is now reaching unprecedented levels of sophistication. At the heart of the JF-17 Thunderix lies a completely revamped avionics suite. One of the most significant upgrades is the integration of an active electronically scanned array radar, likely the Chinese KLJ-7A. This system allows for simultaneous tracking and engagement of multiple targets at longer ranges, enhancing situational awareness and engagement envelope. The AESA radar also enables better electronic counter-countermeasures and supports advanced missiles with greater tracking precision. In conjunction with this, the Thunderix features a new wide-angle holographic head-up display, modern multifunction displays with touchscreen interface, and a sophisticated digital fly-by-wire system moving away from earlier analog controls and making the aircraft more maneuverable and agile under high G stress. In terms of firepower, the JF-17 Thunderix builds upon its predecessors but adds significant punch. It maintains compatibility with a wide array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions, including the Place 10 and Place 15 missiles. The Place 15, in particular, is a game-changer, a beyond-visual-range missile with an active radar seeker and datalink guidance, it reportedly has ranges exceeding 200 kilometers. This allows the JF-17 to engage threats long before they come within striking distance. For close in combat, the Place 10 provides high off borazite targeting and thrust vectoring capabilities when paired with a helmet-mounted display. Ground attack missions are equally bolstered with precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and even cruise missile integration, like the Rod 2, which extends its strategic reach. The cockpit of the Thunderix is another leap forward. Designed with pilot ergonomics and modern combat scenarios in mind, it features a glass cockpit with a fully digital interface. The helmet-mounted display system offers queuing for high agility engagements and seamless targeting. Voice command systems, digital mapping, Threat displays and battlefield data links allow the pilot to operate the aircraft in a network-centric environment, communicating and sharing data with drones, ground stations, and AWACS platforms in real time. This connectivity drastically enhances the aircraft's operational effectiveness in modern, contested airspaces where information dominance is key. The airframe of the 2026 variant has also seen aerodynamic refinements. While the basic delta wing and tail configuration remains, modifications have been made to reduce radar cross-section. These include edge alignment, radar-absorbent materials, and revised engine inlets with serrated edges. Although the JF-17 is not a stealth aircraft by design, these enhancements help in lowering its detectability against legacy radar systems, particularly in low and medium frequency bands. The Thunderix may also include internal upgrades like infrared signature suppression and electronic warfare pods that increase survivability against heat-seeking missiles and radar-guided threats. A major advancement in the JF-17 Thunderix is the power plant. Earlier versions relied on the Russian RD-93 turbofan engine. 
However, the Thunderix is expected to either refine the RD93 Mega Amperes or move to an indigenous or Chinese WS13 variant with improved thrust, better fuel efficiency, and reduced maintenance overhead. This not only extends the aircraft's range but also improves thrust-to-weight ratio, allowing quicker acceleration, better climb rate, and higher operational ceilings. With increased internal fuel capacity and optional conformal fuel tanks, the Thunderix can now conduct longer duration missions without relying solely on aerial refueling. Speaking of endurance, the JF-17 Thunderix introduces upgraded aerial refueling probes and compatibility with buddy refueling systems. This gives it true multi-role, multi-theater capability, and essential in large air operations or during naval strike missions. Combined with newer mission computers, navigation systems, and satellite-guided targeting pods, the JF-17 is fast transitioning from a budget multirole fighter to a potent and adaptable 4.5-plus generation platform. One of the most critical aspects of the JF-17 Thunderix program is its cost-effectiveness. While other nations are spending upwards of $80 to $100 million per unit on fifth-generation fighters, the JF-17 continues to offer a formidable punch at a fraction of the cost, estimated between $30 to $35 million even for the most advanced variant. This makes it particularly attractive to countries in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America that want modern capabilities without the geopolitical strings attached to Western platforms. Countries like Nigeria and Myanmar have already inducted earlier JF-17 variants, and others like Iraq, Azerbaijan, and Argentina have expressed interest, especially with the newer configurations now available. Domestically, Pakistan has increasingly emphasized its commitment to the JF-17 platform. The Pakistan Aeronautical Complex in Camera continues to scale up production and maintenance capabilities. The country's focus on self-reliance has driven them to localize critical components, including avionics, radar integration, and weapon systems. Not only does this ensure availability during conflict, but it also builds technological capacity for future indigenous projects. In fact, the Thunderix may be a stepping stone toward an eventual fifth-generation fighter under Pakistan's Project AZM initiative. In the realm of electronic warfare, the JF-17 Thunderix doesn't disappoint. It features internally mounted electronic countermeasures, radar warning receivers, and an advanced defensive aid suite. These systems are designed to detect, jam, and evade hostile radar locks and incoming threats. Wingtip mounted jamming pods and underbelly dispensers for flares and chaff give it added survivability, even in high threat environments. When paired with, Early warning systems and tactical UAVs, the JF-17 can operate in a semi-stealthy, high-threat battlefield with much greater confidence than before. Another area of improvement is the data fusion capability. Using inputs from onboard radar, infrared search and track sensors, targeting pods, and if-board sources, the JF-17 Thunderix builds a coherent picture of the battlefield. This enables faster decision-making and better threat prioritization. The aircraft's AI-enhanced mission computer supports pilot workload reduction, helping maintain focus during complex multi-threat engagements. This brings it much closer in capability to more expensive platforms like the F-16 Block 70 or the Rafale, albeit at a more manageable logistical and operational footprint. In the broader strategic context, the 2026 JF-17 Thunderix is not just a technical upgrade, it's a statement of independence and ambition. For countries like Pakistan, which operate under budget constraints, shifting geopolitical alignments, and evolving threat spectrums, the Thunderix is a vital tool. It offers deterrence, rapid response capability, and regional balance. More than that, it is a flag bearer of an emerging defense manufacturing industry that aims to break the monopoly of Western and Russian defense systems. The aircraft's growing list of potential customers is a testament to this vision. In conclusion, the 2026 JF-17 Thunderix represents a bold step forward in modern combat aviation. It is agile, lethal, affordable, and smart. It doesn't try to be a stealth fighter or a carrier-based beast. Instead, it fills a critical niche, offering fourth-plus generation capabilities with modern sensors, powerful missiles, and networked warfare features to countries who need a dependable guardian of their skies. It is a reminder that air dominance is not only about cutting-edge stealth or unmatched speed, 
but about adaptability, affordability, and the ability to fight and survive in the modern aerial battlefield. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the future of military aviation, only here on the channel.